Hi everybody, welcome back. It's July 23rd, 2022, and we are back on the moon today. If you've been watching any of my previous videos, uh, you might remember us talking about concentric lines. And these are lines that are, are only seen in the dark craters. And uh, we have some examples of them right here, a few different ones. And they're different, they're different all throughout. Uh, this one here, you can see all kinds of little square structures built right there in that in that dark line and then it's not just what's in the concentric line it's everything else that's around it as well right so uh, in this picture we've got some amazing clarity uh, in a bunch of buildings that looks just like a residential area but then again when you see the concentric line it looks uh, completely different and you notice that those in that concentric line uh, there are these these long sort of uh, jagged edged looking uh, things and what those are are those are buildings so the jagged edges on those uh, larger uh, constructions um, are the are the corners of smaller buildings and this is true of everything on the moon, regardless of what you see as, as a large building, no matter how big, uh, no matter how strangely arranged. At the end of the day, when you get very, very close, everything is made out of smaller buildings. So even when you see something like these very strange looking structures they look like giant springs or something not only going left to right but up and down uh, all of this and all of these things are made out of tiny little buildings if you look all the way to the very bottom of the screen uh, in a sort of a plain area there you can see all kinds of little buildings in rows and then this concentric line is obviously very, very different than any of the ones that we've just looked at. And again, these, these, this coil looking thing, uh, these white lines going through the concentric uh, line are little rows of little buildings. And uh, who knows why they build like that? I mean, it's, you know, and something like this right here, I mean, it it looks like it, it looks like one large, strangely shaped structure, um, and it looks like something that maybe they do manufacturing in there, you know. But the thing is, again, these very strange looking structures are made up of tiny little buildings, but maybe they all work together in unison. Maybe these little buildings that are built next to each other are, maybe they open the doors on both sides and they're all connected. Uh, maybe it's just part of the um, modular construction that we talked about before. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, we've only been looking at the moon now for about uh, four months, four maybe four or five months something like that when Ben first got a hold of me and uh, that's not very much time to go over these pictures and try and learn and figure out exactly what's going on uh, especially since these pictures and what we see on the moon is so far different uh, than what we've seen in the solar system uh, but, I mean, as different as it is, once again, it comes down to the micro, not the macro. So you get down to the little, and at the end of the day, it's just a building. It's just a building, and it's all about how they arrange their buildings. But I tell you, this is such a strange place. This is so incredibly intricate. Uh, the way that they weave all these things around I mean it's uh, it, you know it's very alien I there's just no way to know you know why anything 
right? And every once in a while, we just get this really incredible clarity. Uh, I think it has to do uh, really with um, when you take the screenshot uh, from the World Wide Web. Uh, which reminds me, um, coming up in November, uh, the uh, James Webb Worldwide Telescope is going to be overlaying all of their new pictures onto the globe of the Worldwide Telescope. So that could go one way or the other, right? So we know now that the telescope um, has obfuscated everything on the moon. The surface, the white area in particular, the light colored areas is completely wiped out. It's almost impossible to get anything out of it. Uh, then you go to the craters, which is where all of these pictures are from, and it's really just darkened, uh, just tremendous amount of darkening that they've done. So we, uh, um, you know, just lighten it up and then we're able to see. Now, uh, so in other words, it has been obfuscated and they are aware of that, right? So now the new telescope is, is going to uh, take pictures of the moon and they're going to overlay those. And so it's either going to be incredibly, in, let's just say incredible. It's either going to be incredible or not. And uh, considering what's here, uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing that it's going to be not. Uh, I'm so anxious. I, it seems I'm going to be having an opportunity to talk to Ken Johnston, who, uh, if you don't know who he is, he was a, uh, a NASA insider, uh, somebody who uh, was uh, right there uh, during all of the Apollo stuff. So... Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to come to some kind of answers on what's going on with the pictures versus uh, what we, what most people think they know. So these, these buildings right here, this is very pixely, and, uh, but the pixels don't really bother it. It's the shadows on the sides of the buildings, and they, uh, they come down at an angle. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, here is a very mysterious place. Uh, it's a, uh, again, it's a, another crater. This is, we're not seeing the entire inside of the crater, just part of it. And what we have here is a, a cityscape, right? We have very tall uh, cylindrical buildings in clusters and then uh, lower structures uh, running up and down diagonally. And it's almost like you can see streets here. Uh, definitely everything is in rows. And uh, the, the tall buildings are so much taller than the short buildings. So I don't know how, uh, how tall these actually are, but it's an incredible scene. And uh, I wish we could. Uh, I wish we could get some some crystal clear clarity on this, but uh, it's good enough to see what we got here and what we have here is uh, is this incredible cityscape. Uh, this is something you wouldn't normally expect to find on the moon, is it? <laughs> Along with everything else. Now here's another stunning, beautiful, incredible cityscape. Again, it's a different crater. And these pictures come both from the north and south poles areas. Um, this is where all of the great pictures are concentrated in the pole areas. Uh, maybe that's why we don't see what's, uh, what's, what's up there, you know. Well, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> uh, that's a whole new thing. Uh, for sure, we don't see what's in the pole areas because we don't see the poles from from Earth. Okay, but the rest of it has uh, plenty to see, but we just don't see it. 
And if you've watched any of my previous videos, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, take a look at the buildings down in the very bottom of the screen. There's all kinds of them down there, tall, skinny ones. Uh, uh, you know, some of them are clustered and some of them are kind of by, by themselves. But all of these buildings, all of them have openings at the top of them. And it's not always that clear to see. and and many times those openings aren't facing in our direction so they're on, on another side and I swear I could see windows in these some of these buildings uh, not all of them but some of them it looks like a window pattern on the side of the building so keep keep your eyes peeled for that it's a uh, it's a mysterious place uh, what the heck goes on up there on the moon? Um, obviously, the population spends all or most of its time uh, indoors. You know, there's no ballparks up there. No, no football fields. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all indoors. So what the heck goes on on the moon? wouldn't we like to know but even more than that what I'd like to know is is how come we don't know what's there maybe Ken Johnston can help me figure this out but how is it possible that with tens of thousands of telescopes and many of them very powerful very very powerful how come we can't see what's there? Y'all, y'all have heard me ask this question over and over. And uh, it's a burning question for sure. Um, it's the number one issue, for instance, if you wanted to present this to somebody who doesn't normally look at this kind of stuff, and, you know, they just poo-poo it because it just can't be there because we would see it. We would know it's there. But, uh, you know, it, it is there. We just can't see it. And I can't explain that. I can't explain it. Some kind of a hologram or something that's projected up that keep prevents us from seeing the surface you know I don't know I really don't know and you know Ken Johnston was uh, an astronaut who was originally slated to be one of the astronauts going to the moon for the first time and uh, as I recall uh, they they pulled him off of the mission because uh, he was not a PhD. Somebody at some point decided that they wanted to have all PhDs go to the moon. And, uh, and he, he didn't have a PhD. He had all the education, but uh, it didn't come together as a, as a PhD. So he wasn't able to go. Uh, would have been, well, I was going to say it would have been great if he did go, but, you know, if he saw something, would he have been able to say anything? Um, Ken Johnston has had his own uh, issues with NASA. And uh, he is a true patriot. And uh, he is a, uh, a whistleblower. And NASA has tried to, uh, tried to pretend he's not there. And I don't think it's really worked very well. He's definitely a thorn in their side. Here's another part of the moon with an incredible city, uh, cylindrical buildings with this impossible pattern that we're seeing. And this is actually one of the few patterns that I was able to figure out. Um, in this uh, checkerboard area, you have rows of white buildings that lead up to taller rows of white buildings that lead up to taller rows of white buildings. It's just incredible. I mean, 
you couldn't dream this stuff up. If you wanted to, you know, if you ever wanted to see an alien city with its own unique architect architecture, this is it right here. Now, here's another incredible uh, place. And what you see here are buildings, right? Uh, all these dots, each dot is a building, and in between the dots are the buildings. And this is what I've been saying all along, that what you think from a distance looks like one big building. It's made up of lots of little buildings. We're going to get really, really close here. And I want you to look in between the dots. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can see the individual little structures that are coming down horizontally, excuse me, not horizontally, diagonally between these dots. I'm talking right in the middle of the screen. And the dots I'm talking about are actually little square structures. You can see in between these square light colored structures in the middle of the screen are rows of little buildings. And this particular picture is a little bit different than some of the other stuff that we've talked about uh, with these little buildings, but um, it's one of the ones that gave us the clearest picture, and it gives you the idea of how they use these little buildings. In this picture right here, I'm just guessing, right here, there must be, I don't know, 20,000 buildings? I don't know. A lot and now here's a pattern that we have not that I have not been able to figure out I mean I just don't I just don't get it a lot of these patterns are very very strange and here's a real close-up just relax your eyes uh, lean back and take a look at this picture it's uh, just like it kind of reminds me of that uh, picture of the uh, uh, movie studio picture where they blur it you know you seen that one <clears throat> yes it's not crystal clear but it sure does give you a uh, sort of a familiar feel of buildings with streets and uh, that's what they do on the moon they have a lot of buildings and so you know, the question has come up in the past, is the moon actually a real, <clears throat> pardon me, is it a real moon or is it artificial? I think there's some really, really compelling reasons to think this moon is artificial. It could have something to do with those concentric rings. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Again, there's going to be no way for us to know. Uh, there's never going to be any way for us to know ever. We'll never know. Um, you know, it's been my experience since I've been doing this um, for the last five or six years or more that NASA lies about everything. Uh, they don't. They don't. They lie about things they don't even have to lie about. Um, so to think that we're ever going to find what's in our solar system because you know you know the james webb telescope isn't looking in our tele in our uh, solar system it's looking way the hell out in space that's where they want us to look they want us to keep our focus out in space looking for that one beautiful planet out there that looks just like earth that could be populated but might be two three you know light years away or more Here's another incredible, intricate part. You see a lot of this pattern uh, in many of the craters. It looks much like a giant maze, and each one of these lines is made up of individual buildings. You know, I'd say a lot of things, and I, I you know, some of these things aren't immediately... Uh, uh, you don't you can't tell immediately about you know what I'm saying but it comes from my experience and what I've seen and the information I've gathered over time and when I say it 
Uh, you may not necessarily see it right away, but uh, I'm telling you, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you what, what's there, whether you can see it or not. And you can believe it or not, too. This is kind of a unique crater. It, it uh, just seems like it had a mishmash of everything in it. You know, a lot of uh, individual uh, buildings. It's very kind of unusual. We haven't seen a crater quite like that. And here's this uh, other pattern again. That's It's just impossible to figure out. And the area on the far right, next to the bright white, this is the walls of the crater coming down. And those are all structures there, of course. And you see the crater in the top left. You know, they don't always have something incredible to see. You know, sometimes it looks like it's a crater that's going to have something that's in the beginning stages. Um, you know, these pictures, I think, are probably uh, somewhere taken in the uh, 60, well, no, well, yeah, the 60s and 70s. Uh, before we went to the moon, we were up there taking pictures, and uh, this is where these come from. So, you know, they might be uh, 60 years old. Uh, they can build a lot of buildings in 60 years because apparently that's what they do. Now, this is an incredible picture here. This is a great example of how they stack these buildings up on top of each other. And uh, each one of these long buildings is made up of small buildings. Remember? Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.